Hey everybody and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. We're gonna do this bad operators mission here to get 140 credits. I don't know why we need 140 credits, but I just like knocking down this uh, this unrest a little bit. So let's go on there, send the APC. Unrest in Angler's Point has risen to five. Unrest in the Fringe has risen to three. We have done the modular androids training, or not training the, the assembly. The debated the proposed psionic registry behind closed doors today. Hundreds of protesters congregated outside of City Hall. Just because they're different doesn't mean they should be treated like criminals. 3-1 PD insists the registry is in the best interest of city residents. Public safety is our top priority. If you have nothing to hide, you have nothing to worry about. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. All right, thank you, Celio. Um, so we completed that. We still don't have the Illyrium to do these, so... We can either go on more modular Android gear. Um, I think maybe we go on this Grey Phoenix equipment. We're not using an Android that much to be able to justify going down that path even more. So, go ahead and get started on that for me, could you, please? Um, new supply items. Ballistic foam lining increases the Android's total HP by 2. Servo harness mark 1 increases the Android's mo mobility by 1. And polymer sheathing, these are all very cheap, uh, increases the Android's HP by 2 and armor by 2. Slot chassis, slot motor, slot chassis. So, why would I ever get a ballistic foam? It goes in the chassis. Takes the so this is increase the HP by two. This is increase the HP by two and the armor by two. Why would I ever go for this one? Other than it costs twenty credits less, I guess. I'll buy this. I'll buy the servo harness, sure. And we'll go ahead and deck out our our man, even though we're not using him. Just in case we have to use them. You can now attach upgrades to your Android units to make them more effective in combat. Thank you. Um, how do I do that? <laughs> um, upgrade, there you go. Vision, processor, chassis, do the polymer sheath, motor, take the servo harness please. There you go, thank you sir. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and, yeah, this is just bad for me. I can reduce city anarchy. I can just do this now. No reason not to. It's going to lower it by one. There you go. Um, can't do anything about Angler's Point, so it's actually going to raise anarchy here in a second. Uh, I have two options. Well, three options. Locate the power spikes. Actually, we don't want to do this because this is going to give us plus two days towards operational reveal. And we have learned that maybe that's not the best option. So let's not do this one uh, until we're forced to do it. Bomb threat and cutting edge. Uh, bomb threat gives us a superior stock and minus two unrest and 30 intel. Cutting edge gives us 85 intel and minus 2 unrest. I do like the intel. I don't really care about a superior stock. Is it good to have? Sure. Do I need it? Mm. I don't know. Um, and this... The unrest in the stacks is getting kind of bad, so... Let's go... Let's go on that. Just want to make sure there's nothing else I'm missing. Age Seidel, sure. Anarchy and Arrest to Change, sure. Um, yeah. Let's go on... Let's go on you. 3-1 PD received a tip about an Illyrium-powered device used in a string of recent burglaries. We should seize it before it slips away. Uh, Thrall Initiation. Progeny Thrall will have increased HP. It's only one encounter. So, uh... Let's 
let's let's get to it, I guess. Hostiles guarding contraband. Snag it and leave. Keypad door, vent. We can't go through the vent, so um, keypad door. First impressions, first unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shot. And delayed disable. Last unit through this entrance will have their weapon disabled. Um, can you even disable the pangolin gauntlet? Um, I'd love to have Godmother go first because of her having the shotgun, but I want her to do the hollow scanner. Since there's only one encounter, we, we should use it here. So let's have um, Terminal up first. We'll have Blue Blood. We'll have Zephyr. I mean, because can you really disable a, a fist weapon? I don't know. We'll find out. It's go time! Alright, we're guaranteed to land our shot, right? Yes. Uh, an alert bruiser. An aggressive thrall. You know, surprise acolyte, surprise necromancer, aggressive hitman. Um, and there was a resonant back there too. Let's go against the thrall. Five damage. Um, let's alpha strike the hitman. Let's, uh, let's take a 100% shot against the Hitman. And then if you can please go up against that aggressive person. Since it's their alert, the alert breach is cancelled, but... Let's try against... An aggressive boy. Do you, you actually do damage. You don't do damage. Okay, never mind. Thought you did damage. You just... You don't do it. Play. You don't do it before a ranged weapon. I got gotcha. you. There's our target. Take it and run. Acquire the Illyrium powered device, and, uh, and then evac. I guess. Um. Terminal. Who got hit? Where are all my people? Um. Blue Blood got hit. Of course, Blue Blood got hit. That's what he does. Uh, Necromancer, Acolyte, Resonant. Um, here's what you do. You safeguard my boy, Blue Blood. Just Let get him a little healed. Spray do its work. See? Teamwork. It's not hard. And then I want you to put some points on a Necromancer, because I hate a Necromancer. Uh, Godmother. I mean, you can kill... Actually, you may not be able to kill the Necromancer, because he's kind of in cover. Why don't you come here and just try it out for me? That will kind of put you in a bad spot from that bridge, I think. Eighty-eight. Um. Yeah, I'll go for it. Drop the hostile. Now you can't be touched because you have your untouchable. Now you just used up your untouchable, unfortunately. The way. So you will be hit now. Still here. All right, blue blood. Uh, who's gonna go next? The bruiser over here. Um, what's his? Uh, Fifty-seven. That's not great. Um, well, there's not really anything I can do. I can definitely phase lance him. That's like a sixty-six against them. 
I missed. Not my best. That's all right. Watch that's. And learn. So now I'm just gonna phase lance him because that's 100% chance to hit him. Drop in the hammer. Target spotted. Yeah, that's not great. All right, so the plan is kind of run off the rails completely. Uh, crippling blow cannot miss. Will trigger momentum. It's Will potential of disarm, disorient, stun, or root? You could do that against this Reven revenant boy, resonant, and then we'll get momentum. So then we'll be able to run, or we'll be able to uh, to parry. Shattering. Disabled his weapon. We can now select parry, prevent damage from the next attack instead of moving. Okay, that ended your turn because you moved and reloaded. Acolyte. Acolyte. Um, can't do much for either one of you, so let's go ahead and safeguard Godmother. Let's get your insides back inside. I needed that. Let's um, pin one of those guys down, perhaps. Godmother, if you could get the package, please, and then maybe go off against that acolyte there. I guess that's a bad place. I should have put myself there. Um, got the Illyrian powered device. Oh, we now we need to evac, huh? Okay. Um, so I have a 100% chance. It's a 5 to a 7. It's not going to do enough damage. Let's rapid fire you. Well, I did do enough damage in the first shot, apparently. This bruiser is not what I want. Um, let's pull back. Because we're going to try to eat back here. Eventually. I'll just, well, I, I could, uh, I can honestly face off, because there's no reason not to. Spread the lead. Heading over. No, you're just going to flank me and shoot blue blood again, I'm aren't you? I'm racing target. Don't you stop it. Stop shooting blue blood. Stop shooting terminal. Blood on my jacket? Ugh, again? Uh, who's gonna go? The resonant's gonna go? I can subdue him. He's gone. He's toast. Subdued hostile. Now, there is reinforcements incoming, but that's okay. It's honestly okay. Um. If I come here, and I do my second wind, and then escape. Does that just end my turn, end my turn, or does that uh, give me the chance? Yeah, I can now be back. Okay, so that's good to know. No ammo. On the move. Move fast, stay low. I mean, I really should have actually subdued those guys, but I'm kind of stuck where I am right now, so. Well, it still killed them. I'm nearly dry. Um, yeah, that's that's all right though. That's fine. You'll kill him. We could subdue, but that's going to end our turn, and the reinforcements are coming. So, 
still got Sorry, I guess you gotta die. Rolling out. And then Godmother will bring up the rear. They just bust through the freaking wall, man. I guess we do the same, so I can't say anything. Ammo out. Changing position. Somehow we drug that uh, that subdued guy back, even though we left him behind. Somehow he, he comes with us. Though the device is improvised and exceptionally crude, it could bypass security systems with ease. Now it's off the streets. City Anarchy has risen to four. Uh, alright. Promotion is ready. As the city council debates a psionic registry, some residents feel they are out of touch. Recent disappearances of hybrid citizens have left their families in disarray. She wouldn't have just left like this. Someone took her. They must have. Commissioner Maloof issued an official response. 301PD is actively looking into these missing persons. This matter is our top priority. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. All right, missing persons. Promote the agent from deputy agent to field agent. They get locked down. Zephyr attacks an enemy that enters or attacks from melee range. Or pressure point. Melee attacks that would deal lethal damage will instead render enemies unconscious. Melee attacks do plus one damage, replaces subdue. Um. Yeah, I, I think I like that. All right, the scavenger market is open today, so we could do something with our intel. Um, the Surly Constant. It's a prototype submachine gun. Grants the Hail of Bullets ability. The superior stock. Missed shots still deal three damage. Or a large Illyrium cache for 80. Yum. Not really interested. Sorry. I want to save our intel. So, Agent's Idol. That's okay. Everything's so freaking red. Um... I can reduce district unrest. Well, first let's... Well, I'm going to do this outbreak. I'm definitely going to do this outbreak. I uh, don't know what happens if you don't do an outbreak. Um, investigate strange device, I guess we're going to ignore. So, let's go ahead and reduce the unrest here. There you go. Um, let's... Let's upgrade... A unit or a, a field team if we could so if we're gonna do here we should upgrade this one get 55 bonus credits on the district missions let's upgrade for 110 please there you go we're down to 90 um yeah let's do the outbreak all hands to help contain an outbreak in this district with their fast and continued threat minus two unrest and 55 credits Thrall initiation. Progeny thrall units have increased HP and cult followers, sorcerers, or acolytes are present. One encounter. Civilians in imminent danger. Keep them safe. We'll try. Successful shots on enemies will stun. First unit through this entrance is guaranteed to land their shots. So, uh, Godmother, please. Um. I guess it really doesn't matter what order we go. Breach! 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 All right. We got a alert hitman, a surprised acolyte, an alert acolyte, an alert cobra, a surprised sorcerer, an aggressive bruiser. Well, we definitely have to focus the aggressive boy. Choose our alpha strike because it's the 
first turn. Um, you have to do five or six, and you will do five or six. Oh, here you go. You did not do five or six? You didn't do five or six, you jerk. Well, you did stun them, so... Um, I guess... Yeah, I, I didn't need to actually waste an extra shot on them because they were stunned. So... Now, yeah, this... Cancel his alertness by running up on him. Clear the commercial overpass. Uh, don't allow four, more than four casualties to die. Okay, you have three actions. Um, you have three actions because of the uh, the alpha strike. Is that what gives you three actions? Um, so we could subdue you, but that would end our turn, I believe. Who's gonna go? The acolyte over here is gonna go, and that acolyte over there is gonna go. So, I mean, they're tucked away pretty well. There's not much I can do for them. And then the bruiser over here is going to go, but Blue Blood will take them out. And this hitman here. So, what I think I'll do is come here. That's a dash. So, I will come here. Get rid of this civilian. You're safe. Get moving. And shoot this guy. Hopefully it kills. It does Target does armor. not Don't kill. Let shot. That's okay, Blue Blood will get him. It open. So you just killed a civilian with your soul fire. That's not cool. She guides me there. Psionic suplex on Zephyr. Well that's not cool either, dude. Alright, so gotta go against the two one attack or one HP people. Um I can't phase lance the two of you together. I cannot. Alright, so 87. Still got it. And then this other guy over here Good. it's still alive. I can't see him. No, I can see him. I think. I can't see him. That's weird. Um, not what I expected. So let's go on, which acolyte? Is it this acolyte that has, has Zephyr picked up? It's a 78. I can just phase lance them and hopefully I don't kill my own car. Not kill my car. Didn't kill them though, but didn't think it would. Disabling target weapon. Yeah, get out of there. Oh, you're in Overwatch now. I was gonna just run up and knock you over the head, but I guess I'm not gonna do that now. Uh, the Berserker's gonna go. The Berserker's gonna go. Then the then Zephyr's gonna go, and Zephyr's gonna get slammed down. Um. I kind of need to kill that Acolyte. Don't have an easy way to do that. And you're taking up my cover position, buddy? Um, well, I could, actually. I could do something. Here's what I could do. I could use your Cooperate to give a point to either Godmother or give a point to Blue Blood. Um, Godmother is in a weird position, so I actually probably want to move her. Yeah, so let's uh, cooperate with Godmother. Go, go now. Um, you have one action. Um, so you can shoot at that acolyte over there. 
100% shot to kill that. Or, I'm sorry, I was clicking on subdue. Um, oh yeah, because you're out of shots. So I can fr take my free reload. Reloading. 78 to kill you. Or I could just frag you, which will kill you. Um, and that would still allow me to move to cover. Which I think is the move so let's just frag you hopefully i can get this car to explode in this acolyte at the same time frag out hostile down well it's gonna blow Solid but hit. it may not move now i can move to cover uh but where would i go Love to get that civilian out of the way that would run me right actually wherever i go it's gonna run me through your overwatch um but will it because i have i have uh untouchable right let's see if that works against reaction shots moving Never stop moving. It does not work against reaction shots. Go on, get out of here. Why didn't you tell that guy to get out of there? Um, all right, so I can do a quick heal. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's safeguard Godmother now. Here comes the the berserkers. Ouch! I've had worse. Hit you for eight. That's no, you haven't had worse. Um, you're disoriented now. Yeah, just do a crippling blow on this guy. He's unconscious. You have your momentum move. Uh, why can't I just parry? I don't have parry ability? Can you not parry when you're disoriented? Maybe not. Um, well, in that case, I'll just fall back to uh, half cover over here then. Sorcerer teleport. That's a thing. She knows. Ouch. Ouch. You weren't making my job easy. Wow. Locking Zephyr's bleeding down. out. I felt that one. I bet you are. Uh. Yeah. So Godmother. Who's gonna go? The acolyte over here is gonna go. Not really super concerned about that considering the position I'm in um, I mean I could just kill them the berserker there is someone I am concerned about I could stabilize does that take a turn I mean I'm gonna use well, I actually would have to move to stabilize, so... Flush, scatter shot. uh, Berserker, Berserker. Actually, I'm just gonna run right up on top of this Berserker. Cover me. Seems silly, I know. You'll make it. But then I'm going to rapid fire them right in the face. There goes the acolyte. They're moving away from that car. They're gonna soul fire. Ugh, at least I could treat my own wound. Blue blood, you're rooted, but that's okay. Um, you can take out this berserker. I have faith in you. He exploded the car. Didn't expect that. Um, can you fan fire against that sorcerer and just kill them, please? I'll take it.
Now you need to gremlin stabilize Zephyr, if you could. We're also all pretty hurt, so could you do a second wind on us? I can't believe we were all in a straight line for them just to come in and then do that that lance, that null lance or whatever it was. Godmother is gonna get hurt because she's out in the open. But she doesn't have her untouchable. Comes the cobra. Yeah, that, that wasn't too bad. I'm running low. You are in fact running low. You only have one HP. Um That Acolyte is going to go next. Um, a 74% chance to kill him. Well, actually 74% chance to just hurt him. I'm going to take my free reload. I'm going to do something a little reckless. Well, I mean, I do need to move. I could move. I was thinking just stand here, but let's uh, let's come here maybe. It, Changing position. Cobra could flank me. Move or die. I'm up against that acolyte. I could do. I'd have to do seven hits. So I could take overtime. So with this right now is crit chance of 33. If I take overtime, it's a crit chance of 83. I'm willing to take that. I don't know how much the crit will give us, but it is enough to get the kill. One less target. Just barely enough to get the nice kill. Nice and clean. Blue blood. Um, you're no longer rooted, so the berserker is going to go and the cobra is going to go. I'm a little concerned about the berserker. I don't know if you noticed that, but dead eye against the berserker, 80%. He's in rage now. Of course he is. It's 94. It won't kill him, but I can get the kill with uh, Terminal. This is 80, and if I miss, I can't get the kill with Terminal, probably. So let's just go for 94. I could also face off. But I can't face off, because I only have, like, don't I only have one? I can't see my gun now. So I don't know how much ammo I have. Yeah, let's, let's, well can't really get that uh... oh I can't come here and subdue and still be in uh, in the cover so yeah let's go for that Another caller for the men. and then godmother um, I'll take my free reload reloaded Now, a Ventilate could kill this boy. And Ventilate is 100% chance to kill. So, uh... I mean, I could just stay where I am, but I also kind of want to... If it, if I don't kill for some reason, I want to have some cover. Shifting! A little better cover. There you go, you're dead. Down. Don't get cocky. Yeah, Zephyr and that gravely wounded. It's a 40% chance to earn 20 intel. So Zephyr's gonna have a scar, probably.
We did the Illyrium Sting. City Iron of Key has risen to five now. You, you did get a scar. What's their scar? PD arrested two humans and a sectoid for removing their dampeners at the promenade. The arresting officer downplayed the psionic disturbance. This was a political demonstration that got out of hand. Nothing more. A protester on the scene disagreed. The dampeners are painful. We should be able to live as naturally as anyone else. This is Celio Dash for Channel 37. Thank you, Celio. Um, HP reduced by three. That's not great. So I do need to get you into the training, but unfortunately, Cherub has two more days in the training. I want to take you out of the team now, though. Um, so I'd like to put in Axiom in your place. So let's put, uh, put Zephyr in here. Yes, remove Zephyr from active duty. And then, uh, then we can put Axiom in here. We have enough Illyrium now that we can do one of these Mastercraft items. I mean, getting a free field team sounds very nice. It takes five days, though. Um, reducing City Anarchy is also good. As far as a senior agent. Um, is Verge and or... Patchwork, a senior agent. Verge, you're a specialist. Patchwork, you're a senior agent, Agent, is that right? You know, yes, you are. So, Patchwork, you can do that. So, Patchwork, just reduce the uh, city anarchy by three. It'll take five days, but I don't want it to get too high. Agent is idle. Yep. Spec Ops complete. Yep. So what will we do next episode? Because we're not doing it now. Um, planning mission or lights out? I think it has to be lights out because of the, uh, the unrest here in the switchyard. This would give me, however, an acid grenade, caustic rounds, and hazmat ceiling as an armor mod. Minus two unrest, 40 credits and 50, 40 intel and 55 credits. This would not give me all those cool sounding items. It would just give me 80 intel, minus two unrest and 45 intel. So a whole bunch of intel. Um, we kind of are really needing the intel right now. So that, that lines up with wanting to do switch yard. But we'll do that in the next episode, I guess. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.